No ho ana kia kua i kana hele hele. Anyone who knows me knows I love a massage. But I've never had one that begins like this. For over 20 years, Malia has been practicing Lomi Lomi, an indigenous Hawaiian form of healing that has evolved over centuries. So Lomi Lomi originates really in all parts of the island chain. There are different families that have different traditions, different islands have different traditions. And unfortunately, um, what we know of Lomi today is only a small portion of what used to be a robust healing practice. This practice includes massage that Malia was first taught by her own family. I was massaged when I was a baby by my mom, and uh, she was massaged by her dad and her dad by his mom. And so when somebody comes in for a Lomi Lomi treatment, I center myself and imagine all of my ancestors standing up on my shoulders, and all of that insight will come down through my hands. Malia also draws her inspiration from nature. The ocean is something that is common to everyone in Hawaii because the islands are so surrounded by water on all sides. So as I work, if you can just imagine waves sliding up into the sand and then back into the sea. Sand has a tremendous cultural significance. A lot of our healing practices take place by the ocean. And so a lot of the movements that we do in Lomi Lomi are beautifully supported by the sand. In the body, we have many layers. We have the superficial layer of the skin, we have the muscle layer, we feel the bones underneath, and the ability to sense the fine and minute differences between the tissues is something that can be honed using sand. So if I can use this means to build strength and sensitivity in my Lomi Lomi, then I can also see how this is helping me to develop the motions of hula. It's all connected. Yeah, no. That connection is reflected in her work as a kumu hula, a master teacher in the art of hula dancing. I grew up actually hating hula for many years. I struggled so badly with hula, and um, it was my father that forced me to stay, really. Many Hawaiians believe that the hula has become commercialized, and so families are practicing together and passing on the tradition. There's a, a saying among hula dancers that is, hula is life. So hula is an expression of everything that surrounds us in nature. So even looking at the hula skirt, these are like the folds of the mountain. And so when we place the skirt on our body, we're bringing in the strength, the upright beauty, and the grace of the mountains into our dancing. And so we're gonna do just a few um, hula gestures that evoke the land, so hands right in front, and then reach behind and come around to show the island. And since we're right here at the beach, we're gonna show the ocean waves. Beautiful, and then the sparkling sand, just a soft little sprinkle, and then gathering flowers, fingertips together, beautiful, and just a little higher, and gathering all the things that we love right into the heart. Thank you so much. Oh, you're oh, welcome. What a beautiful experience. Thank 